What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today we have another Timu related video, but this time around we're going to be trying out affordable wigs from Timu. As I was browsing through Timu, just casually as you do, I noticed they had a lot of really good looking wigs. These are amazing for obviously Halloween, cosplay, or even if you just want to spice up your look without having to dye your hair. I mean, why not try a wig, right? I noticed that on Timu they were suspicious suspiciously affordable and they looked really good quality in the photos so I thought why not just pick up a bunch and try them out for you guys so you don't have to. So for the purpose of this video I picked up seven different wigs of different colors and different styles and hopefully we'll find some decent ones in here. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you want to stick around be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys want to see what these Timu wigs are about then without further ado let's get into it. Alright so here's a little sneak peek preview of all the colors I picked up. There's quite a few different ones in here. I'm gonna start with the one that I am most excited about, which is the long pink one. Looking on the Timu website, this was eight pound, and I feel like that's pretty good for a wig of this quality. I mean, in the photo, it looks amazing. So let's see if the photos are legit, and if the wig even looks anything remotely like the photos. Here is the wig. This is how it has arrived. It's actually quite well packaged. Ooh. <gasps> It looks really good, you guys. Oh my gosh. She is looking promising, you guys. Look at her. There's like not too much hair up to the point where it looks fake and like a wig. Like it's just the right amount. I have a feeling the fringe is gonna run quite long. So obviously I'm gonna trim it if it needs it. This is what the wig looks like inside. It's got like all of the weaving and stuff. It then has this area here, which makes it look like an actual parting in your scalp. Look at that. I'm sorry but for a wig that literally costs eight pounds, that is pretty good because most wigs do not do that. I feel like that definitely makes it look way more legit and it's one of those wigs that I probably won't have to wear with a hat over it. I've tried my fair share of wigs from various different places like Amazon and eBay and a lot of the time they literally just don't even do this. They don't even bother and then it looks so fake. If you guys have never seen any of my previous wig videos, I'll have a whole playlist right there because I've done quite a few. Anyways, we actually get a little wig cap with this wig which is so awesome like for eight pounds that is freaking good oh and it's a skin toned one yay it kind of just looks like a pair of tights not gonna lie I'm just gonna put my hair up it's actually a pretty good day to be doing this because I almost need to wash my hair and <laughs> I'm not having a very good hair day what I normally do is I put it in like a low bun and then because I have super long hair I like to like wrap it around my head and just make it as flat as I can oh my gosh I look freaking crazy this is giving like school dinner lady vibes right now. Okay, that's probably as good as it's gonna get. Let's pop this wig on and see what it's about. I have always wanted pink hair like this. I had it briefly one time, but it washed out so freaking quick. I was not really able to live out my pink hair fantasies for very long, but maybe with a wig, I can do it. Oh my gosh, this fringe is way too long. I need to sort this out. This is literally going in my eyes. It's so, so prickly. Anyway. Anyways, this is the hair. Let me just zhuzh it up and fix it into place. Okay, here we go. This is the wig. I actually really, really like it. I feel like my eyebrows are way too dark to be able to rock this kind of hair color right now, but the wig itself is actually very nice quality. Let's just give it a brief little brush because I feel like it's a little bit messy, but the curls are actually very nice. They're super loose, not really fake looking, but just like a very bouncy bouncy, gentle curl, which I really like. Now the fringe is 100% too long, but it's got potential. I mean, we can cut this down. The thing that I really like about this wig is the fact that it's not too shiny. I feel like it has got a little bit of shine, but for the most part, it's quite a matte looking wig. For me, that's the main like giveaway when it comes to wigs, that it's a wig. When it's super shiny, it just looks super fake. So yeah, all in all, I'm actually super, super liking the color and the shape of this wig. It's making me feel like an anime character. Here is a little 360 of the wig so you can see what it looks like from the back as well. All right, so I'm gonna rate this wig 
wig probably like a 9 out of 10. I think the only way it could have been a 10 is if the curls were a little bit more symmetrical. Personally, I feel like this side is just a little bit too like flimsy and not as curled as this side and I think that would have been really nice. But so far, so good. I feel like we're off to a pretty good start. Now moving on to the next wig, we're now going to be trying out this one right here. This one is more of like your icy blonde kind of wig, which I used to have hair like this. Let me know if you're a real one, if you remember that. This one was slightly more expensive. It was £11.47. Let's open this one up. Oh, wow. Once again, it is very nice quality. Look at the hair. It literally looks real. Obviously, this hair is synthetic, but like, look how nice it looks. The way that it like falls is so realistic looking. This one is the same kind of style with wig as this one. It's got the full bangs or fringe, whatever you want to call it. And then the parting in the middle looks so real once again. Obviously, this being a straight wig is going to give a different vibe to this. So let's take this one off. I feel like once again, the fringe is going to be way too long, but you can obviously cut it down to whatever sort of length you want it to be. I feel like that's why they purposely make it so long. Okay, that fringe is so long again, but it has potential. It's like a very fine fringe, which I like. I swear back in the day, they used to make wigs that were just so full and just so fake looking. Like the fringe was always so thick. And when it comes to real hair, that's just not the case. Nobody has a full fringe like that. All right, so here is the wig as best as I can style it right now. Obviously, the bangs really do need to be trimmed, but I'm very, very impressed with the actual wig. Like it's so nice. It doesn't feel too like thick and uncomfortable on my head. It's literally just the right amount of hair and it's very, very flowy and very like just nice and smooth to the touch. The color is absolutely stunning. It's the color that I used to have and I loved it so much. I really want to come back to this color one day, but not right now. I don't want to damage my hair all over again. But this color is totally giving Barbie, isn't it? I feel like with some trimming and styling, this wig really could be something, especially if I like trimmed a few pieces here to kind of frame the face. I totally would have done that, but I don't have any scissors nearby and my office is like really far away from our house. So sadly, I cannot trim any of these wigs today. But I am a big fan of this one. I feel like it has a lot of potential and for 11 pounds, it's such a good price. So I think on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this wig probably like a nine again. All right, now moving on to the next wig. We're gonna be trying out this one. This one is a lot closer to my natural kind of hair color and I'm really excited because this wig is super, super volumized, very curly and it's basically how I can never really get my hair to look. By the way, can I just say I really, really like this wig with like the fringe off to the side ever so slightly. I think that looks really good. But anyways, back to this one. This is what the next wig looks like and oh my gosh, I love it. So this one was 10 pounds. It has arrived a little bit scraggly so I'm just gonna give it a quick brush. Okay, it's becoming very static very quickly but this is what the hair looks like. It's super long. How freaking stunning. I absolutely love the gentle curl to it. There's so much hair but still not too much where it looks like it's fake. The style of the wig is exactly the same as all of them. It's just got the full fringe and then it's got that same parting with the faux hairline. All right, here it is. This is what the wig looks like on. Oh my gosh, okay, it needs a little bit of work. Let's just give it a quick brush because right now I look like Annabelle the doll. Okay, with this one, there is 100% a lot more hair than the other wig, that's for sure. I don't know if that's just because it's super curly or if it's the fact that obviously the hair is very long so it just feels like there's a lot more of it. But here it is styled to the best of my abilities right now and it actually doesn't look that bad at all. I actually feel like this wig looks the most realistic just because obviously it's a natural kind of hair color. It's not a bright pink. It's not a super icy blonde. And I think for me, this looks the most natural because it's the closest to my natural hair color. I actually really, really like it. Perhaps I'm gonna need to do a little bit of a hair switch up now. I actually really, really like this color. It's just a little bit lighter than my one. My natural hair color is just very flat, very dark brown, but this has a lot more dimension. You can even see like the curl in it. It's more of like a honey brown. I actually really, really like this. 
focus on me. Once again, this is what the hair looks like all around. It's probably looking very bulky in the back because of my natural hair being under it, but I really, really like it. All right, on the scale of one to 10, I think I actually have to give this a 10 out of 10. For the price, I actually feel like it's a very good wig. It's got a lot of potential again, and I love the color and the curl. So yeah, I'm giving it a 10. Now, moving right along to the wig that I have no idea if it's gonna suit me or not. It is this one right here. It's a short brown bob and I feel like this is either gonna really boost my confidence or it's just gonna completely break it and I'm never cutting my hair short. This wig was 10 pounds and let's just see what it's like. I feel like a bob can really look amazing on so many people but for me personally I've always been just way too scared to cut my hair short. So this is really just gonna tell me whether I'm correct about that decision or not. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel like this is just gonna look awful on me. The fringe is crazy long once again. Okay, <laughs> here we go. This is the wig. I don't think it looks right on me. Let's just give it a quick little brush. I feel like once again, it would need a lot of styling to make this look good. It's got a decent amount of hair, but the way that it flicks out just doesn't look very good. So it would totally need styling. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. The flick. It actually looks terrible. How do I make this look good? It's supposed to like flick inwards, right? Oh my goodness. I cannot get this to look right. This just does not look right. I think the best thing I can do is to just like zhuzh it up and just make it look as messy as possible because those curls are just not looking right. I don't know what happened to this wig, but it's just not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to go inwards all together in one direction. I feel like I just have to brush it in a certain way. That's a little bit better. I mean, it's still just not for me. This hairstyle is just so bad. The wig is okay. I mean, it's got the right amount of hair, but it's just like the curl at the bottom. The styling is completely off. It might have potential to like, obviously, Curl it and style it in the way that you want it to be. But as it stands, I have to give this a low mark, so I'm giving it a three. Moving swiftly along to the next wig, we're gonna be trying out this one, and I'm really excited because this is a red wig. My husband literally wants me to dye my hair red so bad. He's wanted me to do it for years. He says it really suited me. But when I had it all those years ago, when I was like 18, I just feel like I was going through a bit of a phase, and now I feel like this color doesn't really really resonate with my personality anymore. I know that that whole red hair kind of trend came about a couple of months ago and everybody was dyeing their hair this color and I was this close, but I really, really resisted. Okay, this one is very, very full as you can see. There is a lot of volume to this wig. All right, so here is the red wig. I have to say, I like the color, I like the fringe, but I don't love the curl. Like the curl is just a little bit too much on this side once again and then on this side it's just like a lot more looser. I feel like that's a recurring theme with these Timu wigs. Like one side is just super overdone and then the other side is like pfft. I actually would have much rather the whole wig be this like gentle kind of bouncy curl like it is on this side. It just looks way more flattering near the face for it to be more flat and then the curl starts like right at the bottom. Whereas here, it just looks a little bit strange. Like it's just this one big curl. Obviously you could try and straighten it out and loosen it up a little bit. But as it stands, this is what the wig looks like and I feel like it just looks so lopsided and just a little bit asymmetrical. It's also very, very prone to tangling, which is kind of annoying, but this is all the hair brought forward. I don't know. I really thought I would like this a lot more than I do, so I'm gonna have to give this like a two out of 10. Now, moving on to the next wig, we're gonna be trying out this five pound pink bob wig. Again, I do not have high hopes considering this was only five pounds, so let's see what it's like. Hmm, okay. It's actually not that bad. It's very similar in style to the brown one, but I'm hoping the curl on this one 
is a little bit more tamed, if you know what I mean. It looks like it curls in quite a lot, so I'm hoping it's gonna be all right. All right, here is the wig. Oh my gosh, it needs a lot of taming. Oh my gosh, this is giving Stephanie from Lazy Town. Do you guys remember Lazy Town? That was literally my jam. I always thought Stephanie's hair from Lazy Town was so pretty. I always wanted pink hair like this. I'm sorry, but how adorable is this wig? I actually really, really like it. Maybe not on me, but as a wig in general, it's a very nice one. I think I would chop these bits ever so slightly because they're kind of giving that Karen, where's the manager kind of haircut. The fringe, once again, probably could do with a little bit of a trim. But generally, this wig, there's nothing wrong with it. I do really like the shape of it. I think it has a lot of potential and it would be great as a cosplay kind of wig. So I think on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably gonna give this like a seven. For five pounds, it's not a bad wig at all. And now the very last wig we're gonna be trying out is this one here. This is a blonde one. This one looked so freaking cute in the listing. It was 11 pounds 97. So let's see what it's like. This one is another one that's straight, but it's got a little bit of like a wave in the bottom. Once again, it's got a full fringe with that same faux scalp. They're all exactly the same. I feel like a fake affordable wig always looks better when it's got a fringe. Otherwise the hairline is always really difficult to make look right. Anyways, it looks like this one has already been cut. It's got like these little pieces of hair that are kind of like the face framing sort of layers. All right, so here is the last wig. This is literally giving Hannah Montana. I don't know if I love how blunt these face framing pieces have been cut. I would much rather them be a little bit more layered. Again, that's something that you could totally change up and style however you want. You can obviously get rid of those. Color wise, I absolutely love this wig. I feel like it's the perfect kind of blonde, not too warm, not too cold. But yeah, quality wise, this wig feels fine. I really like how smooth the hair is, even though it's synthetic, it feels very nice to the touch. And it doesn't seem to be like tangling in the bottom either. So that's really good. As this wig stands straight out of the packaging, I don't really love how it's been cut. So because of that, I'm gonna have to give it like a six out of 10. All right guys, so that is everything for today's video and me trying out all these different affordable Timu wigs. Let me know in the comments which one of these wigs was your favorite. I feel like my favorite was definitely either the brown one or the first pink one. I absolutely love those two. If you guys ever want me to do any more videos like this about wigs or Timu in general, definitely smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.